Hi there, my friends across the Western Pacific. Got a few areas to watch out here today. A low pressure area near the Philippines and plus a little tropical wave out towards Guam. Now, I'm going to talk more about that in a second, how it will influence the weather not only for Guam, but eventually the Philippines as we go ahead in the next week. And before now, yeah, all about this tropical wave, bringing plenty of rainfall already from Cebu, now moving out towards the Sulu Sea. The Pagasa, the Philippine Meteorological Agency, says it is a low pressure area. So, I mean, at the very least, uh, it, it's not a tropical depression but enough instability to really still increase those showers, showers for Palawan. And this is definitely going to stick through as we go ahead through Tuesday and heading out into Wednesday morning, eventually starting to clear out behind that. But Easterly is still going to be in place. I think the key thing is just increasing instability. So afternoon showers from more so that where that shear line is right there, just north of Manila, south is going to be in place. You can see that here on Tuesday. There's that rotation right there. Also got some more troughing over towards the Sulu Sea. So that broad low level rotation, increasing instability and afternoon showers across basically, as I mentioned, Manila's towards the south. Northeast monsoon still in place, by the way, for region uh, two out to the Cagayan Valley, Aurora, Isabella. So you're still going to be seeing that easterly flow there too. And even that flow kicking off with a breezy condition there on a Wednesday for Metro Manila. But this is where I think a lot of people are asking about a few people have actually wrote me asked about this. It is this guy. That is a low pressure area that uh, could be developing, but eventually getting smushed up against our shear line with our next cold surge increasing showers for the Philippines. I think it could get heavy at times wherever this shear line does set up. That's the big question. So before we look into the broader picture, let's see where this wave is right now. Just towards the south of Guam, bringing some showers out there for you. Eventually, it's going to work towards the west, but then we're going to see that next cold front right here come through, and they're just going to kind of pancake together. So when you get that, it influences dry air. It influences... Um, uh, an increase in shear, thus shear line. Duh. Uh, and so that doesn't mean that means we're probably not going to see a full blown typhoon out of this. Maybe a tropical depression if Pagasa says, sure, let's go for it. But I think the the key thing uh, you want to take away from this is by the time we head into Sunday and the Monday, this area is going to move towards north and west. It's going to get smushed with that. Probably overall, the energy is going to pull towards the northeast, but it also is going to create instability all the way back across uh, central and northern areas of the Philippines. So let's go through this. Of course, let's get back to our hour by hour model outlook, watching our tropical wave moving towards the west. Here comes that surge uh, in from the north and watch how the energy just kind of gets dispersed right out like that, setting up our good old friend, the shear line bringing showers as we go ahead on the Sunday from Visayas and eventually working its way back towards north, even into Manila and across central northern Luzon. I think that's going to be the big thing as we look ahead. Still long range. I mean, this is about five to six days out. So really going on a limb to talk about that in such detail. But I uh, got some good confidence with that one. That's kind of what we're going to be seeing. We're still watching that LPA over to Sulu Sea, of course, to wave out near Guam. And Easterly still uh, going to be impacting all the tropics. By the way, Ralph sent this in out there in Bohol. In the Philippines, thank you very much for sharing that nice, beautiful sunrise shot. Thank you very much, Ralph. I uh, always appreciate the photos you guys send in, and it always makes everything just a little bit smoother. Adds a little more element to the forecast, and I, I really appreciate it. And that you guys uh, not only watch but also engage like that. So here's your showers across Mindanao on Wednesday. It starts to dry out just a bit in the Visayas, but still, you know, see Rojas, 28 degrees. You got those showers out there for you. Manila could see a little bit of instability on Wednesday, but I think for the most part. You're going to be drying out Thursday into Friday and back towards the north. The east release, especially along the east coast, still looking at that threat of the rainfall. Bigger picture. You got to travel plans out to Hanoi. If you're in Hanoi, let me know down below in the comment section. I know we got a few people watching from there. 24 degrees, a bit cooler. You got those partly cloudy skies in your forecast. All right, that's all for today, guys. Hey, if you guys want to help out on Patreon, Please, 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 thank you very much for everybody that does, though, from Drew Williams, Resty, uh, Tracy Donkey, Ivory uh, um, Molina, Molina? Ivory, if you're watching, let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. Those are the super typhoons. These are guys that give me $10 a month. You're all, you're all legends. I love you guys. So thank you very much for always helping out, always making these updates possible uh, as well. If you guys just want to give $2 a month, yeah, it really does help. Anyways. That's all for today. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Be sure to check out my Facebook at Robert Spetta 
weather. I've been posting plenty of updates there as well. Also tr Twitter at Robert Spetta Weather. And I even have uh, been posting TikTok every now and then because why not? That's where everybody's uh, going to, especially younger people. Anyways, <laughs> done ranting. See ya. Have a good day.